My name is Denny Evasina Rönholm. I'm Vice President Finance Control, but also Business Development, touching an operational excellence, continuous improvement and so on. The Jadu Wärtsil Automation Transformation program, in fact, it started some years back, around 2016. We scaled the automation to many different departments. It was everything from where we had a spare part logistics center, a lot of transactions. It was in finance control, it was the project financial controlling, it was in the manufacturing, even in the R&D. It was in basically almost all kinds of domains. It's an evolution to go over them from RPA to into process mining. And it has gone a little bit hand in hand with our strategy in Wärtsilä. Now you get out from a task-oriented RPA to a bigger process. Uh, we see process mining as a great tool to support our continuous uh, improvement journey. So with process mining we are able to visualize the current process, current state, and then based on the results we can then uh, see the areas where we need to improve, and then we can do the changes and then do process mining again, so that we can see if the impact was how we thought it would be. For us and for many organizations, you have quite big processes. They become uh, siloed. Uh, being able to break those walls, that's very important. If we look at the supply chains today, there's a lot to do with sustainability. And there's also, of course, geopolitical risks that you need to take into account. So it varies uh, from a wide array of, of larger global issues to then local uh, distribution uh, bottlenecks. Being, being able to reduce the lead time for our main assembly with about 30%. Also a uh, leak to that is then the elimination of issues that we are encountering during the assembly process. And then we have been able to reduce the hurdles and issues by approximately 25%. And this is where technology from UiPath is one of key enablers. Process mining gives a completely a new uh, dimension and a level of detail. It's amazing. The process that was in scope was the material flow from uh, warehouse to production. So the process starts with a uh, production order in our ERP system. Um, that is then the triggering an outbound delivery. Then we deliver the, the picked components uh, either with an AGV, which is an automated guided uh, vehicle, or a manual forklift to the production. In order to produce something, you need to have your parts, you want to have them on time, and you want to have all what you need in the same time, and it's, it, the flow needs to go on all the time. And uh, it needs to be very stable and predictable. The fascinating thing also with the process mining is that you can connect easily to other stakeholders, customers, to suppliers, to banks, to to any, anywhere where you want to improve. And I think one of the things here is that it, it's, the process mining is coming more also from convincing, it's from bottom up. It's a pull from the organization itself. This is a tool for us to help ourselves.